Hello, my fellow Wastelanders. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, of course, and welcome back to the Boneyard. So, a few comments to begin with as soon as we get through our next national focus. Last time we took out the Brotherhood of Seal and the Hub, and we did pretty well. The Brotherhood took a while, but that's okay. Old World Military, we could do that. City of Angels, how about we crush the Regulators? So, the Regulators are, in some people's opinion, not a Raider gang at all, and instead, a defense force of the people in the Boneyard. However, they frequently carry out assassinations of their enemies as well as forcing nearby settlements to pay tribute to them in return for protection. Fighting them will be difficult and will lead to civilian casualties, but it must be done. So, a couple comments. First of all, what time do I upload? Well, I actually upload at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I've done that for years now, I think, and I just kind of like it. I think that's the best time for me because I live on the east in the East Coast time zone. And I just noticed Ashton has taken out Hopeville. Cool! And there's another comment. I forget exactly what the comment was, but I might remember it overall. Uh, reinforce rate. Special forces like recovery rate. Cool! Let's get some civilian draft because we're going to have a lot of population here. Right now we are lacking infantry armor, which is really not a good thing. Honestly, really, really not a good thing. Um, I did move some things around. We're trying to get some more of this for now. Go ahead and do that. There you go. We need more guns. We need more of that, but that'll come along eventually. I have justified on the Protectorate of Lucia. It's going to take a while, but in this episode, I really, really want to focus on expanding. I want a ton of expansion, as much as I possibly can do, but we're going to crush regulators. They're the most powerful gang in the Boneyard and have a large amount of public support behind them. They're currently conducting training drills in Aditum, and we might be able to catch them off guard. Yes, we have the radio, which is very nice. I'm going to immediately get that. And that time go on currently... Well, we need a lot more infantry armor. Oh, come on. Pressing the plus button. 800. No. Oh. Our deficit is growing, and it's not very good. Let's go ahead and crush the blades. They're among the weakest gangs in the Boneyard, as one of those passive gangs in the region. They tend to participate in racketeering with local businesses, as well as robbing the common folk, or robbing the common folk. A military campaign against a headquarters in the downtown area will, without a doubt, cripple them. Very good. Get rid of those gangs. Waste on pacification. Uh... Is that how much manpower we get from them, or...? Ah, yes. Access 7.6% of that manpower. That's not bad. Even though Wasteland Pacification eats up a lot of manpower, a lot of the time I can just keep it on, since, depending on the nation that we play as, if we have a lot of manpower, it's totally fine keeping that on, but... What area does not get enough Wastelanders? Oh, that's not looking good. So, the Blades are currently gathering within the warehouse due to the death of one of their officers. We can easily storm the warehouse and bring an end to the Blades once and for all at a high cost of life. Good. Next up, we can employ scavenging teams and the rival to the south. Uh, what if we did this? The ongoing power struggle. The Boneyard is crippled with constant power struggles that frequently led to bloodshed and chaos within the street cities. Or city streets. If the Boneyard is ever to become the power it is meant to be, the power struggles must be put to an end, which means that we shall be faced with either going with Mussolini or All Good Murphy, the guy we currently have. So if we go down this way. We become more of a democracy. I think we already are. The People's Republic, people's stuff, write the Constitution, create the Boneyard, Senate, all is good in the Boneyard, which looks okay. We get more stability, but we already have enough stability. Or we go with uh, Mussolini, where we get the military secret gathering, which we add something. Establish military blockades. Assassinate all good Murphy. Wow. Uh, Grand Marshal Oliver for even more stability. And then the Grand Army, which looks like a lot of fun. Now, y'all might have an opinion. Because I have an opinion as well about which way we should be going. And before we say about talk about that, can we get any better war justification times? No. No research advisors, which sucks. Actually, you guys, training time. Ah, this is what we want. We want training time to go down. I'm going to save this political power first, though. And, of course, something else. Do we go or Baker? We might have last time. Yeah, we did. That's good. Landers. We court Landers, too. Reno Vale would not be worth it. Dog, wither dog's good. Yeah, this area is not really worth it. The long 15 might be worth it just because you can get over to Prim eventually, which is okay. Uh, what do we have over here? We might core some of this. Oh, that'd be nice core. Yeah, we might want to core this next. Can we core this? No. The Boneyard, we need to... Let's core San Gabriel next. I think that'd be good. But anyways, uh, Boomers are fighting these guys, the Grabber Territory, which is okay. If they win, that's a lot of Boomers. Timekeepers are fighting the Mormons. And I was saying something earlier, now I can't remember. Ooh, the Apostles are beating up the Mirelurks. The Mirelurks tribes have definitely been expanding. Definitely, 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 definitely. We need more fire teams, it's okay. Uh, go ahead and do that as well. We're trying to build up more civilian factories, which... Maybe is not the best thing to build right now that we re would really need, but that's okay. 
the Travel Run Formation. As I, like I said, we were justifying on these guys. It takes about two more months, which will be fine. We have time to build ourselves up a little better. There we go. Uh, three right there. Armies, does anyone need to train yet? Uh, a little bit, that's okay. Probably alphabetic ciphers, very good. Let's grab some of this. It's a little bit ahead of time, but that's okay. We got some rocket launchers, yes please. Get some flamers as well, because I like the flamers. I like the burn. <sighs> Ongoing power struggle. Now, like I was saying earlier, Mussolini or democracy? Well, democracy is fun, but Mussolini sounds more interesting. It was not Algood Murphy that led the Boneyard's many militias against the state of Daglo. No, it was General Oliver Lee. Without him, the Boneyard would be nothing more than a puppet of Daglo. Stability and oligarchy, which is going to turn very interesting. Oh, and we got more political power. Good. San Gabriel. A little bit more manpower. Less resistance. Less need for putting soldiers here. Now we're going to need 300 there. That's fine. And then we're going to go with no training up to military academy training until we get faster to supply world goals times because that's really, really important. Woo! So get only 1.27 political power a day. After these guys, these guys really shouldn't be a push. They, sh they should be a pushover. Oh, actually, hold on. Um, before I forget, we took out the Habologists because last time they were allied with the Brotherhood. So we should really probably we took all that all this land. So it was very nice, very nice. Nice. This is coming along a much better. Now we need another... It's going down. Our deficit's going down by about 20-ish a day. So we could probably stay right there and be okay. Eh, give it one, one, one more. Build up this stuff, and then we're going to attack, attack, attack. Probably take out the Shi next. Oh, the Shi. What a special group. Take out the Shi. And then probably go to war with the Rapids. I think it's time to go to war with them, those guys. I think it's just... I think it's time. It's time. Go, go ahead and stop training so we get some organization up for everyone. Backyard workshops so we can produce more. Get some dockyard output as well. I would love that. I know I'm talking very, very fast, but I want to move quickly in this video. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Go ahead and go to war with a sheet next. Oh, you're fighting someone. Ooh, it's 135 days. How long would this take? 140? Yeah, I'll go with a sheet first. San Francisco will be out. Oh, the advisor. Huh. That's cool. Alright, let her guys get some time. You guys do that. The Phoenix Republic declared one of the Master's Remnants, which we also have a war goal on later on. Three, two, good enough. We should do okay. I can't imagine that they would be too strong, especially against our APCs. Uh, we're actually losing over here, which isn't good. We have civilian drafts. We lost organization, but we got 5% more recruitable population, which is quite a bit. Now we'll get some leg infantry reconnaissance, more soft attack, and heart attack. And go, 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 go. Push and push and push them. Is everyone here? It doesn't look like everyone's here. Maybe you, maybe you are. Now you're flooding in, which is good. A good goal would for us to get over here. Cut that division off. Now we could help support the attack, but nah. That doesn't sound like fun. Lord's Anointed. Very cool. Two more APCs. Very awesome. Oh, that sucks. Whatever. If you, eh, that division has been cut off. Those four divisions have been cut off, which is awesome. Very good. The war hero, General Lee. The military secret gatherings. The government is weak and corrupt and is leading the state of the Boneyard down a path of destruction and chaos. As such, the military and militia leadership of the Boneyard has begun gathering weekly under the cover of night to lay out plans of ensuring the survival of the state. Yes, and we're trying to take the capital as well. We've lost about 117, which isn't too bad. They've lost about 1,000, close to 2,000. We're not mobilizing. Actually, we are mobilizing a little bit more. Nice. You know, I've got one guy come in there, flamethrowers. That's a way too ahead of time. Let's go and grab this. So we get even better plans. I That was the other comment. I don't almost ever use fighters in my campaigns. Except once, apparently. Uh, the reason for that, like I explained yesterday in the comments, was that a lot of the time, the AI doesn't really actually use fighters. So I really never saw a point to really use fighters myself. Because if the enemies aren't using fighters, why should I? Uh, however, as of late, the enemies have been using more and more fighters. So I'm starting to use them again. More and more and more, of course. Which is fine with me, because I actually like using fighters, but for a while in Old World Blues here, the AI really didn't use fighters for very much. Let's get faster training times, and slightly slower training times, and faster justify World Goals times, and a little bit more organization, because that negative 5% on our land auction, it's not much, but it's still minus 5%. Oh, we're still in this? Oh, I should have went to funding the army. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Dynamite, become flamers. Good. That is getting better, getting more fighters, that's good. Let everyone train that needs to train, that's good. Get some more army XP. We still have a big deficit of fire teams. 
Infantry armor, of course. Anti-tank. Anti-tank and demo would be good. You guys probably don't need anti-tank. Actually, do we have any dogs yet? No, we don't have any dogs, which is a little disappointing, but, you know, it's my fault. Uh, good Springs is gone. Next up, we're going to get some support coming to a We're not making any, which is not good. Chems, which is not good. Dogs are not good, not good, not good. All right, then. Junta de la Sol. APCs. Now, I'll get throw anti-tanks on here, which would help them lower our armor just a little bit, but honestly, with that much... 40, 30 more piercing, 36 more piercing, I think it's worth it. If they can pierce us, at the very least, we can pierce them back. At least that's what I'm thinking. Uh, can we sell some stuff? We could buy more guns, but we really don't need to. Ooh, look at this! Restore Vandenberg AFB. Aw, yeah. Ask help settlements. The military secure gatherings. Establish military block A to ensure that the people know that we are the true power of the Boneyard. We have begun establishing road blocks for the city to ensure trouble doers are but to the rest. Basically, you can't do anything against us. Do we need more resources? No, we're doing pretty darn well on resources. We do have a few planes here, but what about our ships? Oh, 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 shippies. There we go. Looking pretty good. Even though this task force this fleet isn't that great, honestly, I'd still rather have them have them than not have them. West California is looking pretty complete for us. Oh, biplane fighter is very good. Very good. At least we're getting some planes here. They can actually do some of that as well. That, that, that. And I'll put you on the APCs because you're probably the most aggressive group. And the boomers have won their war. Wow. That is a big boomer. That's a lot of boomers, not going to lie. You know what? I could be building up myself even better by building military factories. So I guess we will. <coughs> Woo! Excuse me. We got some refining tools. Very nice. Construction speed is a little bit ahead of time, but that's okay with me. Let's grab a little bit of this boneyard coffee here. Woo! That is warm. On a very warm day. Monoplane attackers. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Current 1.27. That's not bad. Now we're going to lose some war support and a little bit of political power. But whatever. Whatever. How many caps we got? We get currently 86 caps per quarter, which isn't bad. We got plenty of infantry equipment right now. And we can go immediately go to war with these guys, which... Yay, yay, yay. Oh, you guys probably stopped training first. Let's go and start justifying on these guys since... Unfortunately, the, the day glow died. Like, I don't understand why they were so weak. But whatever. Oh, these guys are looking incredibly weak. Oh, the she are going to go bye-bye, my friends. Bye bye. Are we doing any damage? Uh, no, not yet. We did put planes on the APCs, but there's only 25 of them. And they probably don't even have the range to get over here yet, so. It is what it is. Can you, like, go here to here to here? That would be great. Cut them off from the capital. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Infiltration tactics. And we are done with our land auction, my friends. That was pretty quick. Let's grab some of that so we can help improve some of our ships immediately. Very good. Very good. Um, they're, oh, they're melting. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Ah, there we go, the she. You know what? I could give stuff to San Rafael, but I'm saying nah. Nah, they didn't break over the land at all. All they did was defend, so. Sucks to be you. Next up, you guys. Come down here to Dana Point. Dana Point. You guys go this way. I'm not going to use my APCs for this, probably. But we can assassin all good Murphy, anyways. So, with the military supporting General Lee Oliver, it's time to finally seize control. A carefully planned assassination of all good Murphy will cause a power vacuum that our forces will quickly fill. So, also, let me know. I might make this a full West End Conquest just because the Boneyard, we're going to have so much manpower, it's not even funny, that we should be able to take everyone out in the Wasteland. So, that being said, we're going to play this campaign for a while. And, oh, there goes the Master's Remnants. The Republic is looking pretty large. What should our agency name be? B. Since we're already here, we might as well create one, right? Let's see, probably not that. I'm thinking something like that. Cool. So let me know what the name of our agency should be. It should be the LA Police Department, the Los Angeles Police Department, the Boneyard Police Department. Hmm. The Boneyard Secret Police. BSP. Huh. Let me know in the comments below. I'm open to whatever you guys are thinking of for our. Uh, Totally legal police intelligence agency. Totally legal. It's only illegal if you're not in control. Cool. You guys, you might as well train as well. Keep getting more ar army XP because we don't get any. We don't have no research advisors, which sucks, 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 sucks. Uh, how many caps we got? We got 1,300. Begin a scavenging program. Eh, sure, why not? 
Good, good, good. 75 factories. Not bad, yeah. After creating, trying to create an intelligence agency, this is not looking very good. Oh, well. And eventually, once we run out of stuff to do, or let's just build up some. Oh, this. That'll be good for a while. Good. You guys, let's grab some of this. Black Sun, Twin Mothers. Good. Infantry equipment's looking very awesome. Ooh, we need some more APCs. Am I not, am I not making... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Now you're looking pretty good over there. So we're going to do this. We should be good for the rest of the game. Now, we get some of these guys. Do some of that. Uh, you guys are looking pretty good. Come down here so we can get some stuff going down there. We need weaponry, which... We're doing pretty well on that. Go need some of that. Go need some of this. And we've assassinated all good Murphy. 83% stability, but now we have Grand Marshal Oliver with the military in complete control of the Boneyard. It's time to elect Lee Oliver as the Grand Marshal of the Boneyard and consolidate his position as a head of government. Boneyard military junta become elites, and stability goes up by 50%, which is almost 100%. Great. Let's go ahead and do this. Mercenary training. It takes longer for our guys to train, but that's okay. We get even more organization and faster, just like that. Justify war goals times. Also, that reminds me either... That's, is that the... I think this is the one for a Romanian base game. That little flag, little icon. River Fleet looks very nice, very nice. Uh, as, as great as that is, it's best, of course, to research new ships. New, better ships are better than upgrades on older ships. Mostly, in my opinion, from what I've gathered. But I could be wrong about that. APC is doing well. Dog's doing well. Ah, spy. Charles Shetman. Because we have two things on here. Yes. Very good. Very good. Just gonna hang out there until we get two. You ain't going anywhere, son. Monoplane fighters? Uh, yeah. Fine. We might as well. Good. We haven't really made any triplane attackers, so that's kind of okay with us going with monoplane attackers for now. And how much longer will we have to wait to go to war with the, the Rapids? Not much longer. And they don't look very strong. They have quite a bit of manpower, but it looks like their divisions are lacking something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, Ship-wise, we got a couple extra shippies here. Go right there. Hmm. You know, what if you guys weren't on the line, and we shifted these guys over here? Would they attack me? They might. They might not. Uh, Jimmy Halford, what do you have for us? You are a field marshal, so let's just get you more attack. I think that'd be worth it. Good, good, good. And since you're done, stop training, repair, and then do that. There you go. Next up, uh, air base. Do we need more planes? Maybe? Ah, a couple of triplane attackers. Very good. We're definitely going to need these guys for what we're going to do. And it might be very beneficial to go ahead and construct an air base as well. Right there. That's all we need. Probably just one. Doesn't take too long. Takes like a week, a little more than a week to get that done. Which will be very, very good. Nice, that's done. Immediately go ahead and go justify on the Veiled Bandits. Next. 115 days, not too bad. Could be better, could be better. Over here, nope, bricks, love it. Let's go ahead and grab this. Ah, the defenses are online. We get 10 more fighters, not bad. We could actually use those. Restore naval base Aventura, very good, very good. Casually only having less than 20,000 manpower. That's pretty good. And, nice. The Grand Army. So under the rule of Grand Marshal Lee, Oliver, detailed plans have begun to begin being written to turn the Boneyard's armed forces into the greatest army that the Wastelander has ever laid its eyes upon. 4% more population. We don't need 4 more percent. But I will gladly accept it with open arms. Go ahead and stop training, my friends. And we're going to put some people down. The old world secrets will be ours. Absolutely. You guys do this. Bop, bop, bop. You guys come there because you guys are going to come down here and help us in South California. Really should be called Southern California, but whatever. And uh, that's exactly what I wanted them to do. Protect my lines. We got time. We don't have to do anything just yet. Supply wise, anti tank is looking great. Power armor is looking pretty good. We should make some power armor divisions. Spec ops equipment's okay. APC is looking pretty good. Plus air support, fighters. All of these things need to be improved eventually. Ooh. Do that. Get some sort of production on those, on those lines first. Still building this up. Our industry is eh, it's doing okay. If they're going to continue attacking, you guys can stop doing that. I'm going to put you guys here. Just as a generic kind of front line so our APCs can move out. Can roll out. If possible. Oh, wait. Hold on. And let them attack our line. This gives us really good army XP. 
And we got time to we take out the Veiled Bandits. Alright, good, good, good. We can do that. And better radar. Awesome! I think someone said we should go energy weapons. Oh, let's get this one first. Additional piercing, that'd be really good. Just so that we uh, can put down rebels even faster. Uh, I love putting people down. It's a great pastime. Good, good, good. How many men have we lost? 124 versus roughly 3,000. It's not bad. Alright. Let's go do it like this. You guys. Concentrate yourselves right here. That's probably a bad idea. We're going to take Salton City first. Circle, destroy, and improve this. Let you guys go that way, and then have you guys come over there, and then one, two, two, three, four. Boom. And come there. There you go. Should be fine. How much damage are we doing? Five? That's not bad. That's actually not too bad. We could use better planes, but whatever. Ah, yes. Come on, you got this. There you go, my friends. There you go. Go and let the infantry move in. And they actually have recon on them, which is very nice. Ten. The Grand Army. Beautiful. Let's go, the rival to the south. Since the foundation of the Boneyard State, Daeglo has consistently acted as a main threat to our continued independence. We must choose right now whether we want to prepare for the second Boneyard Daeglo War or bury the hatchet. Well, that might be a little hard to do, not gonna lie. That might be a little hard to do right now. Nice. Move on over. Boom, they're done. Next up, we're gonna do probably push right here. Pop, pop, pop. Ba, 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 ba. Something like that. And we'll execute in about five seconds. Five, one, I lied. Up, 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 up. up. Good enough. Go ahead. You know what? Let's give them a force attack so they can just really hammer home that we really don't like these guys. Good, good, good. Tahama creature is good. Keep taking out other places, guys. That, that'll help us. Ooh, Briggs. That's a capital ship. Yes, it's a capital ship, which is nice. So you are done. Briggs. Let's see, can we put anything else on here? Storage compartment, that's okay. Medium deck weaponry. Enable ram, it's gonna hurt us a little bit, but that's okay. Engine order telegraph. Save that for now. Anything else? Maybe some mediums, no? Lights? Some heavies? Point defense? Nah, that's good enough. There we go. You guys are updated. And come to the bone, y'all, when you're done. Beautiful. Uh, go ahead and grab that. Even more suppression. I love suppression. Oh, we actually did it. Did very well. Are they, like... Is that all they have or something? At this point, you could probably just go ahead and end them. Oh, we took Deglo, which is nice. Very good, very good. Just a few divisions here and there. Not bad, not bad. You could probably need to work on your energy cells just a little bit. Yeah, that you all, all you guys come right there. And boom, come here. Beautiful. We get to get to tumble home, which is okay. 80s play one rifle territory. That's those are some big boomers, man. Some big old boomers. Yakuza looking pretty good. Wood Lake is still holding on for dear life. Six days until we get a war of the Veiled Bandits. Not bad. But only 30,000 manpower, that's all. <sighs> good. Beautiful. Cut them off. Do not let them move. Down here. Um, you might as well go to war with the pale or Paz bandits. 110 days, that's better than 125, better than 140. We need to go to war by January 27th. Get you guys down here. All y'all. Go in and take Mexicali so we can get the other half of the infantry over here as well. We might not even use infantry this way. Sales, good holes, that's good. Good. Just go straight for the capital, that'll be fine. Ah, rebel to the south. Rapid prototyping. 
We're going to prepare for the inevitable. We're a very aggressive nation. So the war with the Dayglow is inevitable, and we must make sure we are capable of defending ourselves against what is to come. Yes. Well, something tells me that Dayglow isn't going to feel very good very soon. And these guys are going to die very, very quickly. Which I love. Oh, they're melting. They're melting. Help them out here. Tumble home. Go, 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 go. And I'll use these APCs on the other side to take out uh, the bandits. Ah, oh, they can't do anything. They're dying. Beautiful. Well, even though Deglo tried to kill off the rapids, we finally were able to. And I love being a military junta. Awesome. Get ready to go, guys. Build up the infrastructure here as well. And maybe an airbase. I think that would be very delightful. Eh, we don't really need that either. So, we don't need the, air, the radio station there. Radar station. Uh, grab, grab some more defense. That'd be good. That'd be nice. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab this so we can e get even faster justified times. Good. Good. After these guys. Mm, the boomers sound like fun. Yeah, they have a lot of resistance, which would give us a lot of resistance as well. I'm thinking Prim. I want to go to war with Prim. Prim sounds like fun. So you guys are going to go against the boomers. And train when you can. That'd be nice. Ah, uh, led by Thrash Gardwin. Gardwin. Yeah, that's still a little bit of manpower, but now we'll see what happens. Three, two, one. Good enough for me. Now uh, I got some airplanes here too. That's good. We have no extra spare planes. Uh, it'd be best if you guys focus this way so we get some air damage. Air attack, you know. That stuff is pretty nice. Engine advancements, even better. I always do this one just because offensive armaments. I love being offensive. I love being offensive. Oh, so much. Expel the Rift Rat. Sounds like fun. Patriotism. Updated equipment. Bye-bye. 40,000 manpower. Jesus. That's so much. All right, we still got some time there. I'm going to try to maybe save some of our political power so we can perhaps core more stuff. I'd love to core the hub. The hub. The hubarino. Now, you guys aren't winning, which is disappointing. Uh, we lost 300 some. Turrets are online. That's good. You guys didn't stop attacking like crazy. Uh, be careful on your attacks. I really need these guys to hurry up, though. I know supply is absolutely terrible down here. So we need to fix that. Anti-Diglo rallies, that's good. Our citizens have, have a deeply rooted hatred for Diglo, and as such, funding anti-Diglo rallies across the city will increase our war support in our state, as well as unite the population. So, the next research thing we have to do... Well, let's do... Restore Naval Auxiliary Landing Field, San Clemente, Ireland. I think my dad's been out there. But, uh... Next research is support companies. Or, uh, logistics. Logistics. That'd be good. I'm going to do that. There you go. And just in case... Phoenix Republic and Cowboy Country. We need some more resources. Oh, that's right. We'll do that one first. There we go. Now we got more factories to work with. Just a little bit. Not much, but a little bit more. Manpower, 600 zone versus 1,000. Not as great as I'd like it to be. Scooter holes. That's nice. Logistics time. Grease Monkeys. They have 1,000 manpower left. That's, a, that's quite a few divisions. That's quite a few. But we're grinding out, hopefully, quite a bit of army XP, which is kind of nice. Does Matthew Foster have anything for us? Maybe, maybe not. No. Let's see. Oh, we are definitely struggling down here. You know what? If that's the case... There you go. And now, let's set up a naval invasion. One, two, three, four. Militia training. You guys, I will sacrifice you if I have to. You guys come there. And then, one, two, three, four. And we'll do it down here as well. Take out that airbase. Cut everyone off from the capital. And it's time for laser pistols. Pew, 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 pew. And energy. Oh, there we go. We go to war with those guys. Get some stuff from Dam Busters. There we go. Could really use that energy. Good. That'll be fine. No worries, no worries. How long will this take, though? Eh, two more weeks. Not bad. Come on, guys. You got this. Is anyone learning anything? You should be learning quite a bit, Matthew Foster. You're good on attack, but not really great on defense, which is fine. Jimmy Halford, uh, you're coming along. 
advanced tools. Very nice. Get some more resource efficiency gain. We are lacking some resources now. We need to go to war with those people down south by May 17th, which should be good. Go ahead when you can. Nice, we're running out of manpower. 81 divisions, nice. Land, I am sacrificing these soldiers pretty much because, well, we have to. Uh, oh, a couple of destroyers have been sunk. We're almost down there. We're cutting out the capital. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of guys down here. That's why I sent up two guys to naval invade, and now we shall do a common enemy. The Boneyard has been a fractured state, but we believe that we can unite the nation behind the threat of the ever-growing Dayglo menace. Good. Immediately kick him out. And immediately begin building up a naval port here. Both of these places need naval ports. And it is time to continue pushing. Push, 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 push. If we can get over here, that's all that matters. Nice. Now you guys stop attacking and hold. Now the APCs. Ooh, this might have been a, this might have been a real big sacrifice. Send one guy that way, or two guys to hold him there. You guys come over here. We're gonna cut off the capital from everyone else. They're technically they were cut off, but now they're not, which is not good. Hmm. Now we're starving. Capital country. So be it. So be it. Get rid of that capital. Yakuza territories. They're attacking us like crazy. Come on, guys. It's only Baja California. Come on. You have to take the capital. You have to push them out. Ten signs. Come on. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm going to lose those soldiers. So be it. I've lost quite a few guys. But, you know, what else is new? It's pretty difficult trying to get down here. Especially without tanks. And the roads are just terrible. Going to do that. Throw them on the APCs because they're going to need them. they really going to need them. There's a few guys here and there. So, up, oh, we lost a couple guys already. So be it. One, two, three, four. You know what? I'm just going to go south then. Uh, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Naval invade from here. Uh, not there. Not there. From here. Cut them off. These guys have to die. Ah. Yep, I lost a couple guys here and there. But, so be it. So be it. Like, I... How are they getting more manpower? Like, seriously. Oh, rebuilding the waste. That's nice. That's very nice. Ah, uh, we have enough manpower anyways. 81... No. Yeah, they're out of manpower. Kick it up or not. Either kill them or die. Get rid of these people. We need to go ahead as soon as we can. You guys, where are my shippies? You guys come over here, and then come over there. That'd be good. We finally pushed them away. Actually. Hmm. What if we just took their capital here? That's another plan. Just take the capital. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh man, we are losing a lot of energy. We're going to need just a little bit more. I'm sorry, this is taking me a while to do. And we lost our justification against the Paz Bandits. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of these guys really harshly. Um, it's a good thing we're an oligarchy. And we have no elected representatives because it's going to be very bad. <laughs> Once I'm done with these guys. No, you have to come down here. Common enemy, very good. Unite the people of the Boneyard. With the people of the Boneyard seeing Daglo as their main enemy, we have successfully gotten our population to unite against the threat, which would be good. All right. Come on, guys. Come on. Kick him out. Kick him out. Beat him up. Oh, you need naval supremacy down there, too. I'll go ahead and do that, since they don't really have a navy anyways. Come on. Come on. Literally kill everyone there. God dang, this we need so much energy. Uh, so be it. We need truckloads of energy. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is, this is going to take forever for me to kill them all. Holy cow. With no manpower? How are they still fighting with, like, no resources? That's insane. Vault City. Okie dokie. Better laser pistols. Good. Let's grab some of that. More breakthrough would be good. Yeah, no. Well, I'm just going to keep pushing this way until they crack, because... They can't keep this up. I can. They cannot, though. Better logistics. Good. Get even better logistics. Help support the attack. Push them out. 
Push them out until they all literally die. That'll be good. Schooner holes. Grab some armor. Good. And do we have anything there? Nope. Schooner holes. You are done. Boneyard. Where's the boneyard? The heck? Oh, it's the boneyard. Very good. Research. More extraction. I'm making stack as many soldiers as they want, but they're all going to be dying here. I've lost 4,000. Jesus Christ, that's insane. Hmm. What am I going to think here? I've lost half the army here already. Song from the front. Just give me some more war support. That'd be kind of nice. Come from here. If I had to keep sacrificing soldiers, so be it. Uh, maybe not. Don't come from there. You four come over here. We're gonna come right there. The goal is to cut these people off again. These soldiers are replaceable. Just don't tell them that. Uh, that's good. Land doctrine, we're done. Specialized doctrine, aerial warfare. Some of that. Do we have any air support down here? We have a little bit, yeah. Not a lot, but a little bit. I mean, you guys have to keep pushing. Like, we're not stopping until they're done. But we have the Dayglow's naval threat. Dayglow poses or possesses capabilities to mass-produce warships at a rate that we cannot possibly match in our current state. However, if we were to focus on naval tactics, we could potentially defeat their navy based on skill. Yes. Yeah, I, was, I knew something was going to hang me up here. I knew something would, and I didn't uh, expect it to be these guys. Let's restore Fort Irwin next. That'd be good. Uh, help the settlements out. That'd be nice. Building up more military factories. Yes, that's exactly what we want. I mean, they're, they must be doing last stand. There's no way that they're not doing last stand. Help them out. Uh, we've lost 4,000. They lost 6,000. They're going to lose a lot more than their lives when we're done here. Just help. Just keep fighting them. Just keep fighting them. Doesn't matter. Good. Go ahead and try that when you're done. And ready to go. If we can cut all these guys off, that'd be great. Ah, it's unfortunate these people all have to die. Good. Come on. Great. We've landed. They're they're done. They're literally done. Send one guy down this way, too. Just in case. Great. Push south. Push south. Go to the capital. They're done. They cannot get any more supplies through there. They have no ports. Literally no ports. Good. Now, that took way too long. Let's go ahead and re-justify on these guys down here. These guys shouldn't take nearly as long, but... Yeah. Oh, I already justified on them again. Nice. Lincoln here. Lincoln with the smarts. Good. Let them die. Let them perish. Perish from this earth. Skinwalkers. Good. I'm glad people are killing each other so I don't have to kill as many people in the future. We'll go to war with them if we want to. It's okay. 5,000, 8,000. How are you losing? They're... They, they're operating shotgun. That sounds like fun. Yeah, I don't really believe that. Just because they get no supply. They're running out of supplies. As you attack them, they run more and more out of supplies. Come on. Attack and win. I mean, they barely get any supplies over here. Move these guys out. Take, 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 take. Oh, we got encircled ourselves. Well, that's not good. We have a port down here, though. That's what matters. Take everything. Everything from them. Oh, we've even taken their city. Good, good, good. Can't beat us there. Good. I'm gonna grab that. It's a little bit ahead of time, but that's okay. Nope. No supplies for you. Yeah, they're literally dying here. Finally. Oh my god, I'm so sorry about that. That took way too long. That took way too long. That is pathetically bad. Oh. 20 guys, get on the line immediately, because we need to go to war very soon. Very, very soon. And we need to go to war by 21st, which is good. On November 21st, then it's boomer time. Ah, they're guaranteed by New Vegas. Hope I got enough anti-tank. And let us do next. Hmm. Let's employ scavenging threats, or scavenging teams. The Boneyard is home to untold masses of technology and resources that is just dying to be discovered under collapsed buildings. If we were to employ a few hundred scavengers without a doubt, they could dig up some useful resources. Was that really worth it, Baja California? Was that really worth it? I don't think so. I think your deaths and 
let's just say, since we won, there's not going to be any sources of potential war crimes here. That really wasn't worth it for you, because now the population's going to have to die. Man, I imagine if we could colonize places in uh, Hoi 4. That'd be a lot of fun. Good, good, good. Go ahead and do that, too. They need more resources. You're done with that. Good. Three, two... I'm not going to immediately attack. I want them to attack me. I am not attacking them. I learned that because that was a mistake before. So let them wear themselves out on our line as we prepare for the boomers. And make, let's make sure that we have enough supplies. So we need way more fire teams. Way more fire teams. Ah, close air support's looking pretty good though. Fire teams, eh? Military stuff. Yeah, stuff is all good to do. Planes. Oh, that's good that we got that. Nice, nice. Let's make sure that we have, we cut down on this just a little bit. Good. Good. I'm sorry that I lost so many soldiers. That was such a bad thing that I did there. Oh, so bad. So bad. But you know, naval invasions are always risky. Oh, hello. What is this? Convoy. Good. Sink everything they have. Give them no peace, no mercy. Ah, so you, Matthew, are your level 6, and you're becoming a better defender. Not as much of an attacker, but a better defender, which I like. Jimmy, you're not really learning much. Unobstructive piloting, very good. Let's grab some of that as well. Especially with logistic companies. Let's see. That's not good. That's beautiful. That's amazing. Love it. APCs are looking amazing. Plus air support. Do we have any demo teams, which is nice? Uh, you guys have you guys have anti-tank. You guys have anti-tank. Planning this out pretty nicely. Go ahead and throw those guys over there. Make sure all you guys train so that if you're as strong as possible, go ahead and throw on as many monoplane attackers as we do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And put you guys over here. Uh, there you go. Employee scavenging teams. And now we can do the City of Angels. The Boneyard has the potential of becoming the greatest city in the Wasteland, as well as the most powerful. However, in its current state, it is nothing more than a pile of rubble. If we were to divert our focus towards rebuilding the city, our dream can, without a doubt, come true. Ah, uh, I love having dreams. Do I have dreams? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Actually, we're just missing fire teams, which is the biggest thing for us right now. I hate having no, not enough fire teams. Good, good, good. That's way too ahead of time. Let's go get that. Reinforce rate and then maybe some more research speed. So far, we've lost... Oh, no, 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 no. We can't see how many men we've lost. That is a little disappointing. Go ahead and do that. And that is first. Central Roselia. Roselia. Supply is good enough down here, so... We can actually probably go ahead and shove these down south since we're kind of okay with it for now. Uh, get one. That's really all we need is just one. Ah, law bring your shotgun. Sounds like fun. Get some more organization. Let time go on. Good. Law bring your shotguns. Those sound like a lot of fun. Ah, infantry. Good, 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 good. How many? So they've improved their situation here. They're no longer lacking manpower, it looks like. They got a couple divisions, special forces, infantry equipment, so no robots, no power armor. They got quite a bit of manpower as well, of course, no fleets. And I've been totally ignoring my political power completely. Uh, academy officers, mm, that's not bad. Don't want to do that yet, though. Let's go ahead and fill them more. The hub. Eight, roughly 8,000 more manpower. So beautiful, so nice, delicious. All right, you guys are looking pretty weak. Go ahead and terminate them. Terminate with extreme prejudice. I love when we can do that. Now oh, the city of Utopithia looking pretty mighty over there. Let's grab one airbase right here as well. I think that would be very delightful to do. We can go to war for Vault 15. You guys stop training because we want to go to war quickly. Get some more research done. I know I'm still talking very fast, but I'm trying to get through this quickly so we can conquer as much as possible. Let's see. We don't have an airbase here yet. Let's see. Do we have any extra planes maybe? Yes. Very good because our soldiers are going to need them. Not just to find on anyone just yet. Come on, get an airbase around here just so... Because we'll have to go with the War of the Boomers as well as New Vegas, which is going to be a little bit of a problem, but that's okay. Good, good, good. And we should be able to hold the line okay enough. Now, they're not attacking me yet. So be it. City of Angels, very nice. Let's rebuild LA's industrial sector. Yes! The industrial sector of LA used to be the backbone of California's economy, but now it's nothing more than a series of shattered factories. And I press enter by accident. Factories and the occasional creator. However, our experts report that some of the factories could potentially be still in an operational state. And down here, we're going to grab artillery. We've got artillery. Defenses are online. 
Beautiful. More APCs. I love APCs. A oh, very good, very good. Next up, we shall have... Uh, oh, Restore an Evil Weapons Station Seal Beach. Yes. That looks very delightful. How is this coming along? We are still winning very handsomely down there. And finally, the Boomers have decided to attack us. Uh, I kind of figured they would, so... And it looks like we're getting some more air XP. Ah, oh, very nice. Very good. I love infantry. I love... Uh, I love Old World Blues. Just to be honest with you, I love Old World Blues. That's why it's like the main mod on my channel. I just love this mod so much. Even though I have struggles with it, like we saw earlier, I still love this mod so much. It's so much fun. Uh, let's see. Oh, I haven't done this yet. Organized agriculture, really? I still haven't done that yet? My god, how much manpower do you think we're going to get by the end of this campaign? Because we're already at 70,000. And we have, you know, a good chunk of California under us, but... Oh, it's so much. I love it so much. But anyways, this video has gone on quite quite a while. So, we will finish off the boomers tomorrow. New Reno's looking pretty thick as well as Vault City. God dang, son. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Maybe subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below and let me know. After the boomers, who are we going to go to war with? And don't forget about what I asked you earlier, which I can't remember right now at all. Regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you liked it, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll catch you all tomorrow as we have a great time with the boomers and casino owners. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!